YouTube, what's going on? Mike from LA1 here. Welcome back. And this is my Elimination Chamber review. Yeah, this is my Elimination Chamber review. Alright, oh, I thought the show was okay. The chamber matches did not deliver whatsoever. But there was a certain something that made my night. And we'll get to that in a little bit. Let's start off with the pre-show. They did give us a bonus match. Zack Ryder versus Stardust. Stardust wins with the crossroads, which that was an okay match. Then we got the Miz TV segment. I don't know what the hell there was Miz wearing. But Daniel Bryan came out, came, came out and saying he will not retire. He will come back. Now hopefully this time he gets healthy this time. And not saying when he's cleared. Cleared. Then we get to the main card. We got the tag team title match. Elimination Chamber match. This match was okay. It was a fun match, but the ending killed this thing. It was I was expecting Kid and Cesaro or the Lucha Dragons to be in the last ones, but nope. Who do we get? The primetime players. And the Ascension eliminated the Lucha Dragons for some unknown reason. But they finally got a pin on them, so I guess that makes up for the two pinfalls they took to the Lucha Dragons on NXT. The Los Matadores got eliminated first, which I saw that I saw that coming. The New Day wins when they pin Titus O'Neil. Next is the Divas Ta Triple Threat match. Nikki Bella wins with the Rack Attack on Naomi. Okay, I have a feeling Naomi's going to win that title. Unless they're going to give it to Charlotte. I have a hunch they're giving it to Charlotte first. Unless they're going to give it to Naomi and Charlotte debuts as a babyface. I don't know. The match itself was okay for what it was. Next was the match of the night. Kevin Owens versus John Cena. Yeah, a good John Cena ma uh, a great ma John Cena match. What a sight, ladies and gentlemen. This match was so phenomenal. A great reaction from Kevin Owens for Kevin Owens. The match itself was very well done. And also, John Cena, stop doing a tornado DDT. That one was looked awful. Beyond belief. J j the fact that the, I, I thought after the first pop pop power bomb, I thought it was done, but of course. Hey, what are you doing, Mr. Cameron, man? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I will kick out of your finishing moves every time. <laughs> yeah, he kicked out of the first one, but the second one, I was not expecting this. One, two, three. Kevin Owens beats John Cena clean. Yeah, everyone was surprised. In fact, I think the, whole, the internet blew up when that happened. Yeah, for once, John Cena did not get protected. And if that's not bad enough, there's going to be a rematch at Money in the Bank in Columbus, Ohio. Hmm. Gee, I wonder who's winning. Seriously, I hope Kevin Owens wins twice. And let someone else be the first one to beat him. Next. Oh... Boy. Neville versus Bo Dallas. Great cooldown match. Neville wins with the red arrow just like I predicted. Then we got the Intercontinental Elimination Chamber match. Let's be honest, this match sucked from beginning to end. Although I was not although I knew going into this, okay, whoever started first is not winning this thing. Bad news Barrett, King Barrett and Dolph Ziggler were starting. My guy was one of the few start starting this thing. I was thinking, okay, Dolph's probably going to get eliminated first by King Barrett. But surprisingly, King Barrett got eliminated by our troop Yeah, Dolph was the second to last guy to get eliminated. But what I was not expecting was the outcome. Ryback is your new Intercontinental Champion. Huh. I'll be honest, I was honest, if it wasn't, if Dolph is, Ryback was my third choice to be honest with you behind Sheamus and Ziggler. So I think we we're finally going to get a Sheamus versus Ryback feud for the Intercontinental title for Money in the Bank. But, oh, wait. Let's talk about Money in the Bank for just one second. They already announced the six participants. 
which is soon going to be, I, they're saying it's going to be more, most likely. Dolph Ziggler's going to be in it, thank you. Sheamus is in it, ugh. Roman Reigns is going to be in it, which he's right now, he's the heavy favorite. Kofi Kingston. And Neville's in it. I'm forgetting one more, but someone tell me in the comments. The six guys not coming through my head. Hold on, let me check real quick. Right. This is what happens when I don't take notes, people. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's Randy Orton. Okay. And there's, like I said before, more. Randy Orton, there we go. Randy Orton's in there too. So it's going to be either Orton or. It's either going to be Orton or. Or Roman Reigns winning the, uh, that title. Next we got the main event. Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose. This match was good, but it wasn't as good as the other three matches last year. But what I was not expecting was the ending. I thought Seth Rollins was going to beat Dean Ambrose clean, but wrong. Screw it. Swerve. Seth Rollins knocked out the referee. Dean Ambrose knocked out the referee because Seth pulled him in. He took advantage. All of a sudden, up for the pedigree. Dean Ambrose hit dirty deeds. And the other ref came down the ramp. Got the 1 2 3. We all thought Dean Ambrose just won the world title. Then the original referee came up, decided to reverse the decision. Dean Ambrose does win the match, but it's by disqualification, and Seth Rollins is still Mr. Money in the Bank. And let me just say this, I don't know what's up with the, the internet meme community right now, but this pretty much sums up the whole night. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's an internet meme waiting to happen, people. All right, guys. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, I before I close out, I did get my a new app, which is hold on, tough it up. So I am gonna be voting throughout this whole thing. So because I want to see how the season of tough enough is, even though Stone Cold's not hosting, they probably got the second best pick in Chris Jericho, and I can't wait to see how the season turns out. We gotta wait until June, guys. So uh, see you then. See you next time, guys.